families of other missing people are pushing for justice. I would give anything if they would put that much manpower behind finding Katie. Katie Mae Cawthorn, mother of a three-year-old boy, was last seen October 1st, 2019 in the Bug Tussle area of Monroe County. Wherever she's at, I love her. I won't never give up as long as I can go and breathe. I won't never give up on her. Her father, no stranger to grief, has already lost two sons, but says Katie's unknown whereabouts make this even more difficult. I know what happened. You know, I, I go to the graveyard and, you know, see them. I, that, that hurts me. That bothers me a lot, but it's nothing like Katie May. You know, you don't know what happened to her, or who done what. KSP Post 15 has been investigating the case for two years, but still have few leads. It's been devastation for them. They have agonized over, you know, where she might be. Post 15 has nine active missing persons cases, including Cawthorns. Post 3 in Bowling Green has four. I've done the best I can, everything I know do, everything I can think of to do. Her smile and her eyes, I guess, is what I think about the most. Well, a lot can change in two years. For this family and friends, progress on their loved one's case remains stagnant. But that reality won't allow them to lose hope, not until answers are brought to light. The smallest detail that could help, maybe locate her, anything. Somebody has to know something. People don't just vanish. Reporting in Monroe County, Kelly Dean, WBKO News. These are some more pictures of Katie. If y'all have seen her or if you know anything regarding her disappearance, please call authorities. I will link all contact info, all the FBI line, the tip line, the missing person line, the sheriff's department. I will link all that in the description below this video. Look at these pictures. Have you seen Katie? If you have, please contact authorities. Now, I'm going to be doing some more research on this case, so be sure you stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell. Katie's been missing since October 1st, 2019. White female, 20 years old, 5 foot 1 inches tall, 150 pounds. Last seen wearing a pink t-shirt, black leggings, and brown boots. She does have addiction issues. Brown hair, brown eyes. Katie's ears are pierced and her nose may be pierced. She has a scar on her forehead between her eyebrows and a scar on her nose. Scars, tattoos, anything like that that's very distinct characteristics. Be sure to remember that. It says when she was last seen October 1st, 2019, she left home after an argument intending to go through a soybean field to a creek three miles away. She took a small bag, a small packed bag, and left on foot without her cell phone. She has never been heard from again and was reported missing on October 10th. Katie left behind a toddler son. Few details are available in her case. The Kentucky State Police are investigating the case. So if you have any leads, any tips, any information whatsoever, if you even think you might know where she is, if you might have saw her over the past two years, please contact Kentucky State Police. 270-384-4796. Y'all, we got to do what we can to help bring these people home. This right here is heartbreaking. They have families out there, friends. They have loved ones, people out there searching for them and wanting them home. Y'all, please, please, let's do what we can. Share this video. Share this story. Let's help her get some more coverage out there. I'm only one person, but 
I'm going to keep posting these stories because they deserve to be out there. They deserve to be found. Their family members and friends deserve answers. Let's, let's do what we can to help. Now, I do want to note where it says that she left walking through a soybean field headed to a creek. That's really common in the country in the backwoods, and it says she's from Kentucky and was last seen in Kentucky. So that's very common to have, like, fields, and, you know, you walk across, you cut across the field, you have creeks. A lot of people go to creeks for various reasons. Now, I've spoken with her sister and my first question was, was she, you know, really active on social media? Did she talk to anybody on there? Or were the police or investigators looking at anybody in particular? And she said no. She said she did have social media, but she wasn't very active on it. She said she didn't, you know, keep the same phone very often. So, I don't know, y'all. What do y'all think? Let you know, leave your thoughts and opinions and all that in the comments. And please remember to keep it respectful because a lot of these people's families and friends and loved ones read the comments and a lot of them comment to show their support and, you know, put out their different information. Y'all please just remember that and remember them and keep it respectful. Like they are missing somebody right now. And like I keep saying, I am just one person. This is one channel. There's only so much I can do. I am determined to work on these stories and help share these stories and help get their pictures and their names out there and their stories out there so we can help bring these people home. Y'all, please be sure you share this video, share her pictures, share the posters, Join a missing persons group on Facebook if you're active on Facebook. Share those posts. It's the least that you can do to help find these people. Thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate y'all so much.